el reino de Mirtana, unificado por el rey Robar II. Durante los muchos años de su reinado, logró vencer a todos los enemigos de su reino. Menos a uno. Los orcos se cobraba su tributo y los prisioneros del reino iban a pagar el precio. El rey necesitaba espadas para su ejército y todo hombre culpable de un delito, por insignificante que fuese, se vio obligado a trabajar en las minas de Corinis. Para que les resultase imposible escapar, el rey envió a los mejores magos del reino para que crearan una barrera mágica alrededor de todo el valle. Yo fui uno de ellos, pero algo perturbó la delicada estructura mágica. Nos quedamos atrapados dentro de nuestra creación. Un segundo de negligencia bastó para los prisioneros, y aunque los rebeldes no se atrevían a tocarnos, no pudimos hacer nada. El rey no tuvo opción. Tuvo que negociar. Necesitaba el mineral. Pero sus antiguos esclavos exigían un alto precio. Durante meses, el rey proporcionó todo lo que necesitaban los prisioneros. Durante meses, a cambio, ellos llevaban el mineral al borde de la barrera. A lo largo de los años, se ha intentado abrir la barrera mágica en varias ocasiones, pero no ha sido posible. Hasta hoy. En el nombre del rey Robar II, portador del cetro de Barán, sentencio a este recluso a... ¡Alto! Recluso, tengo que hacerte una oferta. Esta carta debe llegar al líder de los magos del fuego. Pierdes el tiempo. Podrías escoger la recompensa que quisieras. Te darán todo lo que pidas. Muy bien, llevaré la carta. Con una condición. Ahórrame el resto de sus chorradas. ¿Cómo osa? Silencio. De acuerdo, metedle dentro. Bienvenido a la colonia. Dejadle en paz. Largaos de aquí. Levántate. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe-looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch, because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. 
Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange place, especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp, same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Yes, I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared to the new camp, the old camp's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. The new camp doesn't get any deliveries from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards, followed by the shadows. The diggers are the lowest. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. When I was washed ashore, one of the guys punched me in the face. They do that to all the newcomers. They call it Standing Godfather. Oh, are all the guys like that in the old camp? We do have a few suckers, but they won't touch you as long as you pay them protection money. I saw a woman being sent down with the goods. Yeah, the ore barons get everything they want. Do you mean to say the king exchanges women for ore? They're convicted criminals too, of course. But if Gomez hadn't asked for them, they'd be sitting in some dungeon or other. I'm not sure what's worse. I'm looking for a weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine further down the canyon. But don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. 
An inexperienced fighter should never use one of them unless it's an emergency. You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece. How's it going? Good. None of the rogues from the new camp are to be seen anywhere.
Let me pass. Hang on. Hey, you. What do you want? I want to warn you. 
If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as, uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here, and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the First Orc War. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint, don't go into the forest. Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. If I manage to get them without paying, I'll take as many as I can carry. You're all right. You should consider coming to the new camp. In case you go there, ask for Lars. He takes care of the new ones. I'm sure he'll have a job for you. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's gonna be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep it in mind. You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some hints for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do, to start with, then we'll see. Here you are, take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers, that's what we call the big birds, should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let him. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. You're demanding a lot for your advice. Possibly, but you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible.
Hi, I'm new here. How nice for you. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. We make sure that no beasts cross the bridge. Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own. Unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. Hehe! <laughs>